Hi, Gear Space. I'm Fabian from ModMe. ModMe is a short for Modular MIDI Controller. And this expresses also its uniqueness of the controller, its modular design. So you have uh, different modules you can combine around the main module to form individual uh, MIDI controllers according to your needs. Each uh, module is uh, specialized in one controller type. For instance, you have a fader module with a touch sensitive uh, button on the top and then the bottom. You have endless encoders with a button function. You have a module that has four um, touch sensitive areas. Plus you have the fourth model, which gives you a CV out function. All the buttons can be configured for one output of the CV to control uh, your analog hardware, which gives you the opportunity to make a preset of your analog hardware and save it. The form factor of the modules um, is like that. You are able to integrate it into a Eurorack, which um, gives you the opportunity to integrate the digital um, advantages of a MIDI controller into inside a Eurorack without the need of an extra case. But for the cases, there are, are different sizes. This would be the biggest one. This would be the smallest one, and there are sizes in between as well. And in this uh, form factor, you can configure it, uh, the controller according to your needs. Um, so here we have a fader. This is uh, mapped inside um, the door to a fader. So if I move the fader myself, I can control the volume, for instance. And this is a bidirectional um, communication. So you can control the software here, but the software can also control the uh, controller. So you can actually make like something like an LFO in the software, send it to a knob, and the knob is uh, connected to a CV output, so you can make a um, software LFO controlling um, analog hardware. And this is uh, the whole concept of uh, ModMe. Um, pricing and availability. Uh, pricing and availability. Um, the whole uh, company is still uh, in the founding process. Um, hopefully, mid of the year, I can. Um, have the, the first basic parts uh, available on an online store at modme.de and the pricing would be um, for the modules between 50 and 60 bucks the main module uh, 70 the housings between uh, 40 and 130 bucks and there will be also bundles available these are encoders right these are encoders. These are encoders, like endless knobs that um, give out value, but also can take value. And this way, um, if you send a value to the knob, you can start at that position where, where, where it uh, got the value from. So for instance, uh, this one is mapped for the first send effect of the main master. And when you see the LED over here, when I move this with my mouse, also the LED of this uh, specific uh, button, which is mapped to the button in the software, uh, goes accordingly. So there's a bi-directional um, communication happening. Maybe in addition, there's uh, one more module uh, still in development. Uh, this will have an integrated LCD so you can actually see the value you're um, adjusting on your controller. Plus it gives you the, via a um, uh, menu, uh, the opportunity to configure it up to eight uh, parameters per knob. 
So it's like from a min maximum value to acceleration to um, also the, the resolution, which is important because um, especially for the analog stuff, the 7-bit uh, resolution is not sufficient to make um, 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 a nice uh, frequency sweep. So it's, it will be possible to up to 10-bit um, uh, knobs, to have up to 10-bit knobs. This is still in development, so um, this will come later on. And the whole concept is to make um, a controller that is compact as possible and only put stuff in it that you need. This is the whole idea behind it.